right, day one, we're on the uh, bus from Lima to Haraz. Um, made it here safe and sound. Uh, that we did. A little scary situation in the airport, but we made we found each other. Yep. And uh, now the most amazing part is that we're on the Pacific Ocean right now, just chilling <laughs> real close to the cliffs. <laughs> yep, we're uh, give him a shot straight down. Yeah. yeah, that's how close we are. We're cruising, looking good, looking real good, feeling real good. We got the. Uh, Need some more elevation, I think, though. Yeah. Gotta work on the elevation. So uh, right now we're at maybe 100 feet up. Uh, by the end of this bus ride, we'll be 10,000 feet up, <laughs> and uh, we'll be staying at Haraz for the night, and then uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll start trekking through uh, through the Andes. That's, that's, how you, so. that's how you do that. That's how we do it. Just made the bus uh, in Lima literally the last second. Uh, we took the last two seats and we took off. It was an eight, and, eight hour and 15 minute ride. Gorgeous Pacific Ocean, mountains, farms, crazy. Absolutely crazy. Uh, got us two meals out of it, some chicken nuggets with rice. Yep. That was an interesting reveal. Uh, what was the other one? Two waters. Two waters, a soda. Yep. A hot, a hot dog. I didn't even get one. A hot dog. Those I got bastards. a hot dog. Uh, and uh, there was a nice raffle. We didn't win anything though. I was really Lost. hoping for that hat. Yeah, they had a nice uh, hat. It's a baller hat. Um, but here we are in Juarez. Yeah, we made it. Uh, once we arrived, uh, we quickly came to realize how difficult it was uh, carrying all of our stuff around. Um, we checked out a couple hostels. The first one, uh, we went up a flight of stairs and I just had to sit down because I was gonna pass out. <laughs> um, we're definitely at 10,000 feet. You can definitely feel that. Um, realized the first guy was kind of gonna jip us a little bit on price, so we found another hostel. Um, got in, got this key that if we lose, it costs us 10 bucks because this is a very nice, very nice did key. You say file. 10 bucks, or did you say 10 souls? I think he said 10 dolores. I think he made it clear that it was expensive. That's expensive. Um, then uh, there are three, host uh, three pizza places uh, literally within a stone's kick of our hostel front door. You don't even have to throw it. Um, we went to one of them, got some pizza, got a grand grande pizza each, uh, the remnants of which are in here. We're not going to eat the rest <laughs> of it, though. Um, we also found a local beer, um, and uh, today we're going to spend the day kind of checking out Juarez, acclimating to the altitude, uh, finding our food, finding any gear that we don't have, which isn't very much. And uh, we're going to be picking out our route, and uh, we're going to be heading out tomorrow morning. But uh, we'll probably stay here tonight. Got anything to add? Yes. This is going to be sweet. Yeah. I don't, I don't think you can see out the window behind us, but there are some sweet mountains. Um, right there. They're right big. there. All around is crazy. Yeah. We'll get some pictures and some shots. We're right in the middle of it. Um, we'll have some good footage. We might go on a little day hike today just to see, feel it out without any packs on. Get our bodies kind of used to 
getting beat up. So <laughs> some puking here and there, why not? Yeah. It's going down. <laughs> 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 Alright, see ya. Peace. Uh, it's our third day of the trip. Um, it's 5.40 in the morning. We actually have 10 minutes to get to the bus, which is going to take us out to uh, the beginning of our trek. What's the name of the city? Varekas, something like that. Yep, exactly. That's how much we know. Um, yesterday we got all our food for the trip. It's all packed up. We're all ready to go. Uh, yeah. We also uh, talked to some guides. We got our sleeping bags. Uh, we got a map of the entire area that we're going to be climbing in. Uh, we got some really good information on the trek that we're going to do, the Santa Cruz trek. Uh, it can be a three or four day trek. Uh, we also found out that the route we were, were originally going to take was uh, washed out by a giant landslide in February. So basically from this one uh, lake down, uh, basically the lake blew out and a giant landslide occurred and a bunch of sand covered the entire valley, which was a trail that we were going to take. So. Um, had we gone the original route, we would have had to hike up three to 4,000 feet of sand. In this case, we're going to get to hike down it because it's a circuit trek. We're going to be coming in the other way. Um, what this means is that we're going to hit the, uh, the high point at an earlier uh, part of the trip, probably day two. Uh, we're feeling confident about that. Um, but we've also kind of picked out a side route that we're going to take that will take us a day or two that's going to hit another high point. Um, it's not really a pass, it's kind of in between two 6,000 meter peaks. Um, it'll bring us really close to 18,000 uh, feet. It'll be interesting to Real see. Close. It'll be interesting to see if we've got the, the mustard to get that high. Um, but we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're definitely going to make a go at it. Uh, we got all our water. Uh, we did our math on our, our food supplies, our water purification tablets. We did a test run on the stove yesterday, did a test run with the tent. Uh, so I think we're ready to go. Yeah, and we have to go, so. And we have to go, yeah. So, so see you later. Take it easy. Alright, Bacaria. Here we are, it's the beginning of our trek. We're uh, starting off at uh, 3,200 meters, about 10,000 feet. It's our first meal, yogurt bar by Delicious. Nature Valley. Um, yeah, we got our map, we got everything. Uh, it was about a, how long, four and a half hours? Four and a half hour bus ride. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful bus ride in. And uh, this is the start of the trek, so uh, we'll check in later. Santa Cruz, uh, pulled in Vac Vaquiera, I think that's what it's called. Nice little town, actually dirt poor town, but it was cool to see. Um, we're about three and a half hours into the hike. Uh, you could definitely feel the elevation. 
but as you can see, it's beginning to be very well worth it, and only better shit to come. Stuff. Sorry. Shit, some cows. Shit. Stare, have... He stared off a fucking bull. That was badass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. That was sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> saw some wildlife. Saw some locals. They're all really nice. Yep. We got a, a river running off to our uh, our right. I guess that'd be left on the TV screen. I don't know if you can hear it. We're gonna have plenty of water because we're kind of tracing the the valley through here. Mm -hmm. It's all glacial water. Completely clear. Beautiful. Yeah. At some point, we're gonna go up one of these mountains and hit a pass that kind of opens up. But and we'll definitely do a diary then. Yep. So it's uh, day two, uh, the morning of day two. We uh, <clears throat> had a good day one. We did about 11 kilometers. We went past the camp that we actually wanted to stay at. We had a little bit of extra juice, so we ended up going a little farther. Uh, ended up camping on the hillside here. Um, basically, where we hiked is the valley that you can see behind us, um, except for the white cap. We didn't, we didn't come from quite that far, but. Uh, most of the valley behind us is, is what we were hiking in yesterday. Um, what else? It was long, uh, not too steep, but the steep parts were brutal because of the altitude. Yep. And uh, we're gonna go about three kilometers today, but. What, a thousand feet? Yeah, a thousand, yeah, a thousand feet, feet thousand today. Feet, yeah. So a thousand feet in about three kilometers. So we're gonna camp out at the camp that's just be below the, the pass. And the pass is the Punta Union, which is uh, the highest point on this trek. So we're gonna see how we feel when we get up there. And uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah. We'll, leave you, we'll leave you a note tomorrow. Sounds good. I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches I'm moving to the country I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches I'm moving to the country I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches I'm moving to the country I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches Peaches come from a can
pretty much the only ones out here. Except for a couple cows here and there. It's day three. Or sorry, I guess uh I guess it's day two. In the mountains anyway. <sighs> Tomorrow we gotta uh head off in this direction. Around that little bend right there, and then uh we kick it up to 47.50, or, yeah, 47.50 meters. Somewhere around 15,000 feet, that's going to be the high point that we've been talking about. We're not going to be in the snow, fortunately. But we're definitely going to be up there, definitely going to be feeling it. I'm going to try to film a few parts of that. Give you an idea what it's like. There's Murph man in the stove. We're about to cook another uh, delicious dish of uh, spaghetti. Hotel Bakes and Murph. <laughs> it's uh, what time is it? Like? Six twenty. No. Yeah, six twenty. <laughs> yeah. Six twenty. <laughs> We're going to bed. <laughs> it's about uh, it's getting down close to freezing here. Uh, we're definitely gonna see some frost on our stuff tomorrow morning. Yep. Uh, trying to get a good night's sleep. We're going to get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So if we fall asleep right now, we'll get 11 and a half hours of sleep. <laughs> um, looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a huge day. Rough. Real rough. The roughest the roughest one we've had so yeah. far. And they've been incrementally harder and harder. So yeah, this is going to be tomorrow's a gonna be, yeah. serious test. So uh, we're signing out, getting some sleep. You got any final words? Peace. <laughs> Peace. Altitude affects everybody. 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 So whoever you think you are, it fucking sucks. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs>